Hey guys, Joe Tech from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter. You want to hear about the Vega? We'll be right back. Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. A hoodlum look. My hair looks like crap. I just woke up. Uh, it is what it is. I just got this information uh, this morning and uh, I have to uh, post it uh, immediately. Um, Vega or AMD has been pretty much um, missing in action, I should say. Um, they made that big announcement, or like they had this whole, like, you know, this whole, like, um, I don't know, you, what, what are you even going to call it? Because they were, they were just talking about their new Ryzen CPU. They didn't even, like, really unveil their Vega, Vega uh, GPU. But um, apparently, this is pretty cool, Syssoft Benchmark actually spotted a Vega GPU and uh, and the specs are actually and I have the specs here so this is pretty impressive um, it was a 64 compute uh, compute units um, the, the, the device has 8 gig of 2048 bit memory so it's using two 1024 bit HBM2 uh, memory types, so it's actually stacked. So now it's two, two thousand forty-eight bit. I mean, that's that's unbelievable. That I can't, that's mind blogging, mind blowing. So there's four gig of one thousand twenty-four bit, but they're stacked. So then that's eight gig at two thousand forty-eight. Uh, I mean, that's so awesome. The the system is now calculating the uh, memory speed properly, um, but. Uh, so this is the new Vega, I guess the Radeon RX Vega uh, specifications. We don't know anything else yet because um, I guess they've been working pretty hard at the AMD factory when they saw the new 1080 uh, Ti. So they're probably going, holy crap, <laughs> we got to get, get our ass on the stick and, uh, and start making something because, uh, I mean, right, as of right now, I'm like, pretty disappointed in AMD. I mean, that's... I mean, that was the whole point of that, you know, that you're supposed to release and tell everybody about the new Vega during that, that, whole, that whole unveiling video or conference that they had, and, it was, and they didn't do it. So um, I guess they're scared. They're trying to, like, like with the Ryzen, they're trying to, you know, be somewhere in the neighborhood of the Intel, but cheaper. But uh, uh, this is pretty impressive. This is the first video card that's using the HBM2 uh, memory uh, technology. I have people been talking about it, but I haven't seen it yet. They're always having the um, GDDR5X and GDDR6 and, and nothing with HBM2 technology. So um, I'm hoping that this is good. Hopefully it'll be a little bit better than that RX 480, 470, and 460 GPUs that they came out with. Um, because they, they're they always one step behind. But never like in, in the realm of, should I get a 1080 or should I get a Vega? You know, it's, or should I get a 1080 Ti or should I get a Vega? They've never been in that realm of technology ever in their, in their existence. Um, I, I, yeah, I don't recall. I've, I've always been NVIDIA because I've always been, I would, I would actually spend the extra $200 on a video card to get the best versus being second best. That's just me. You know, I mean, if I had the money, I'd buy the 1080 Ti in a second. Absolutely. But I'm waiting for this. I'm, I'm curious to see what, because I... OpenCL is very important to me when I do video encoding. And if, because a, uh, NVIDIA is not that good at it. I actually bought an R9 380 to do my video editing because it's actually faster than my 980 Ti. Go figure. So in this 
instance, I'm looking forward to this because their OpenCL is bar none. Awesome. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, thumbs up. And uh, sorry for being so early. It's 1030 in the morning on a Sunday. But I had to get this out and, and let my subscribers know. Take care, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.